Here. But if you cut my hair, you could easily have killed me. I'm leaving my hair I'm here with the chop he means. He's penetrated my defenses. And Pearl, maybe I should release her now. played a little trick on Commander Wong. Oh, good. He's a really nasty character. <laughs> I know. If not for you, I would have killed him. Let's take shelter in Dragon Lung's temple. that old fool. <laughs> hey, Commander! Commander! Uh, what do you want? Huh? What happened to your mustache? Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Commander. They stole my mustache, and it's all in your hair as well. <laughs> huh? You mean oh. someone stole your mustache as well? Oh, but I'm not angry. I think it was just the girls doing it for a joke, maybe, huh? <laughs> this is no joke, my friend. You're afraid. That's why you let Pearl Chow go. Isn't that right? No problem. I can get her back. But Pearl Chow is a very important link in destroying that society. Can't you understand that? Huh. If I didn't release her, they would have had my head on the line that night. Understand? You just listen to me. I know the Wudong very well. And there are no invisible masters in that group. Hmm. So you know the Wudong. What is Pearl Chow up to? Is she important? Tell me. Of course she is. And now there's going to be lots of trouble. Now look here, I pay you for information. 
So far, you've given me nothing. What gives? I'm only a small potato in that group. I'm not aware of the confidential goings-on behind my back, believe me. Well, then, who was it who killed the farmer, the woodcutter, the fisherman, and the doctor? I think it might have been one of those imperial assassins from Peking. Perhaps they wanted to compete with you. Isn't that possible? Impossible. Probably it was those imperial assassins that cut your hair. Then what happened to your mustache? Maybe they wanted me to keep quiet. They know that without my permission, you can do nothing. Even yesterday, they killed one of my men at the Western site. I know about this. Oh, really? Oh, Annie. Oh. 